Hey y'all, welcome back to Willow Tree Woodworking. Well, it finally arrived. The new Monport 40 watt CO2 laser. So stick around, we're gonna unbox it and see what's inside and hopefully get this set up and start making some new stuff. All right, so right now we're taking out the top foam piece. And inside here, we got a nice little bag of stuff, bunch of goodies. Uh, looks like we got some glasses. And right inside here, there's the new laser. All right, y'all. So as you can see, this came very nicely packaged. It's all nicely wrapped. We're going to take the wrapping off. This is like unwrapping Christmas early for All right, <clears throat> no scratches, no dents, no nothing. Looks great. So let's pull all that out and see what's inside here. Gotta say, this is pretty well packed. Got another box. Got the tubing for the exhaust. All right, let's see what's inside here. Maybe this is a uh, power supply, I think. Oh, looks like a little baby tiny pump. So this is what you get straight out of the box. <clears throat> now I did order the water chiller. However, I did get an email this morning saying it was on back order and it would probably take about two weeks. So let's see what else we got here. So inside the box came this little goodie bag. And I'm assuming these are laser glasses yep so those will come in handy and let's open up this little pouch and let's see what we get inside here instruction manual looks like we got some tape uh, looks like we got a coupler to hook up our little hose uh, this looks like our laser adjustment. Make sure that we're uh, getting the right focus. Power cord. Oh, no name tube of silicone. I think that's for uh, if any parts come apart, you can use that to, to fix them back up. Uh, looks like we got a piece of acrylic. That's probably just for doing some testing. Cable to connect to our PC and a small little wrench. <clears throat> Not sure what that's for, but I guess we'll find out. So I got the new uh, 40 watt mom port sitting up on my workstation and I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough and show you uh, what's here. So here's the laser bed and the laser itself. Uh, one issue that I did find was the red pointer itself was not really lined up uh, so I did have to adjust that. I do find that that screw that's kind of like right there even though you tighten it, it still comes loose depending on what kind of speed you're doing your engraving at. So I've had to readjust that quite a few times. Um, this is the stock laser head that comes with the machine. Um, I did purchase a couple of additional ones and I also purchased uh, an air assist kit that I'll be uh, trying to put on. So you can see I've already run a couple tests so, and I'll show you what those look like. 
Here's the power supply bay. And everything looks great. Machine turned on, it was all working fine. Set it up in light burn, it automatically homed, did everything that it was supposed to do. Uh, here's the digital display. So I did order the chiller with this and I found out about a week later, I got an email from Monport saying that my chiller wouldn't be shipped for another two to three weeks. So I was kind of disappointed on that. So I had to actually use the whole bucket method for now, which I'm not thrilled about because it doesn't really go down to, you know, anything below 24 and 23, 23, 24 degrees, uh, and you kind of have to get it down a little bit lower, I think, if you want this laser to work perfectly. Uh, so one of the things that they do advertise is that this is supposed to come with a Yongli tube, which is supposed to be one of the better tubes. And as you can see right here, it's just a standard CO2 laser, laser tube. No Yongli on here whatsoever. Um, they do glue the mirrors in place. I did find that when I turned the laser on and I looked at the initial uh, alignment, it was slightly off on the inside, so I did have to do a laser, laser alignment on this before I could actually use it. Um, the pulse button worked fine, everything worked fine, but you can see I had to go and adjust these mirrors. So, so let's. So if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I primarily do canvas engraving. I've been doing canvas engraving on the Xtool D1 10 watt laser, and that works amazing. So I did a small little canvas here to run a grayscale test and, and see how that turned out. Uh, my first test, this was at around 12,000 millimeters per second at, I believe, I set it at 5% as the low and 100% uh, as the high. This was at 11,000 millimeters a minute. And then as soon as I got down to around 10,000 millimeters a minute, you can see it burned right through. So uh, pretty much if you're gonna do canvas engraving, you wanna stay 10,000 millimeters a minute and above. So next I decided to do some engraving uh, to see how well that turned out. This is 5,000 millimeters a minute. 60% power, and this is Jarvis. This image was processed using the GIMP plugin for wood. Here's 4,500, and here's 4,000. So I was highly impressed on how this turned out. Uh, you can see that the shading went from light to dark just by changing that setting. And I really like how this turned out. I mean, you can see the detail, just amazing with the CO2 laser. All right, so after that, after I did my testing on that, I decided to do something that's a little bit more full scale. Uh, so this is close to eight by 10, and you can see this is just amazing detail on wood. And if you touch it, you know, it's got a little bit of a rough surface. I believe I did this around uh, the 5,060% mark using Jarvis. This image was also uh, processed using the GIMP plugin and you can just see just amazing detail. So the next test I did was using Rich's Universal Test Card, and you can see kind of what I did right here. Got quite a bit of burning when I got down into, you know, around the 2,000, 1,000 millimeter per minute mark at 60% power. I only did up to 60% 60, 60 power. Uh, here is my gray scale test, and this is on wood. And I also did my uh, one through five pass test. And you can see how that turned out. Six hundred, it took five passes to get through. And this is only three millimeter. Um, if you watch Rich's video, you should be able to cut through 10 millimeters of red oak at 600 millimeters a minute two passes at, I believe he has it set at 60% power. So first off, not really impressed that I had to go 600 five passes just to get through three millimeter. But that's my personal experience. I don't know if maybe it's something that's off on the machine or something that I did, but was not impressed with that.